No, I. <laughs> wow, croaky voice. Hi, hi, hi. That's better. Hi. Okay, we're hunting sharks. Um, there's one. You can tag them with your camera, as usual, and then I just try to find a high spot, like a reef. I didn't work out how to climb that buoy, but you can drive a boat out and stand on that, and then just shoot them. Um, if you swim around with them for long enough, you will eventually get a quick time event, but honestly, that's asking for trouble, because you you can run out of breath. They often swim in packs, so you can get mauled, and it's just too easy to die. I'll show you exactly where that point was here, but if you saw the map earlier, I'm standing on it when I look at the map. And I tried to get up on this boy here, but it doesn't work. So if you look at the sea shark, uh, if you look over there, there's just a rock poking out there. And you can just walk up and stand there. And the sharks won't be able to get to you. And if you use a hunter's instinct from there, uh, you will be able to... So remember to bring lots of amber leaves. You'll be able to see them, but that one's behind uh, rock. So I think, well, yeah, there's no sharks around at the moment. I'm going to go and try and find that loot that's tempting me on the mini-map. And actually, I could only get one of them. I couldn't work out where the other one is. So if anyone can work out how to get that loot, please tell me. Oh, there's a marker on my map I can't find, and it's killing me. Um, so the first one's there, super easy. The second one I tag, and it shows up, but I can't work out exactly where it is. Anyway, I won't bore you with that. Another great place you can stand is actually on this bit of the submerged boat. Um, it's easier to get onto, in fact. I just want to see if they were bad guys, but they're not. Uh, so really, anywhere just poking out of the water is great. And then you just craft a hunter's instinct, look around for sharks. They come around all the time, and a couple of shots from a sniper rifle will generally finish them off. So I think I put two in that one, and two in this one. Bloom. And that's two more sharks. And you're going to need four in total. I forget what they craft, but we'll have a look at the end. I think it's the rugged munitions pouch, maybe. Or the, 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 the rugged wallet. The extended wallet. The, the big wallet. I don't know, wallet and ammo, something like that. We'll have a look at the end, I'll put it in the description. There's a shark having a bit of a fit, couldn't work out what was going on. Um, and I think, well, I'll get him, but he's obviously stuck. He's glitched out like that tiger, if you saw the tiger video, who got very angry at a rock. <laughs> um, but fortunately, there's one by the shore. So I pop him a couple of times, and he goes down quite quickly. Um, and they st the sharks seem quite weak, comparatively, which is good. I mean, ultimately, you don't want to be messing around firing ammo at sharks. But uh, there we go, skin the shark, get to shore. Now I've got four shark skins and we can craft, what do we craft? A weapons holster. Yeah, that's kind of quite, probably quite important. So you can uh, carry your fourth weapon and also wallet. Uh, the, where is it there? Uh, wallet, heavy duty wallet. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to go and have a look for other Path of the Hunter missions to try and find the uh, ultimate wallet. But that's it for now, lots of love. Bye.